Hello and welcome to my channel. Now we are on the Huddersfield Canal, narrow canal tour path today. We're going to do about 10 miles. I've already done about uh, four miles already. So today's vlog is just uh, really in response to my uh, tinkering about with the flat profile on the GoPro Hero 8 uh, because uh, a lot of people have been saying that the picture is oversaturated in the uh, GoPro colour and that is actually true but um, what I've realised is um, tinkering about with the flat profile and uh, as you might have seen in my previous vlog I, uh, I graded the flat profile and um, hmm, I don't know I don't know whether I was uh, too happy with it, but I thought I would put it up there anyway. But the more I look at it, I think I can do better. Now, I can't say I wasn't warned because I did a little bit of research before I started to tinker about with the flat profile and color grading the GoPro footage. And uh, it is notoriously difficult to do. And uh, yeah, I found that to be so. It's a bit of a learning curve for me and people that colour grade a lot will, will know all about that. Well, I don't, and I thought that it would just be like a, a little bit of exposure, uh, lowering the saturation a little bit, um, just little tweaks like that, but it seems to be a little bit more uh, finicky, really. And um, I'm hoping, I'm not giving up, um, I'm hoping to actually master it, because what I did see was, I saw that uh, my, uh, my graded image wasn't great, but there was something there, there's something there w which I liked better than the GoPro colour. But you know, when you think about oversaturation, you just think to yourself, well, just lower the saturation. And I've been considering actually just uh, recording in GoPro colour and just lowering the saturation. And I might do that yet. I haven't had a go at that. But um, it might be better to uh, record as I am today. I'm recording in the flat profile again today. But the difference that I'm doing today is, uh, and I would like some advice on this, um, the difference with today is um, I'm in the flat profile but I'm using the native white balance because I found that um, every take was was different and it, it changed throughout the take it, even and the uh, GoPro Auto white balance is pretty good as long as you're not going to be doing anything after. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think you need the white balance to be balanced throughout all the shots and that will help in the uh, in the grading because otherwise you're kind of having to do every single take i'm hoping that um, because the white balance will be the same uh, it should be a bit easier but i would like to get more natural looking footage and i did see that even in my first attempt i did see that uh, sort of the color of my skin and uh, everything everything looked a little bit more natural um, it was slightly overexposed in areas and uh, it kept changing too much on my first attempt but uh, this will be my second attempt and hoping that i'm going to get uh, better results it's your own take on it really and uh, you can make it look any way you want so it is a creative process i don't think there's any right or wrong uh, you just get it how you like it and my first attempt didn't really like it but I thought I would put it up there anyway so uh, yeah it's a right can of worms is the color grading of GoPro Hero 8 in this instance that footage is a real can of worms So I'm really enjoying my experience so far with the GoPro Hero 8. I'm walking along in the pouring down rain and I don't have to worry about, um, about my uh, audio adapter, uh, microphone adapt, that little block, because I gave up on that a long time ago, it kept letting me down. And I've seen that's happened to a lot of other people as well. Um, the uh, adapter will definitely let you down. Too many connections. 
Uh, so I'm not missing that. Uh, I'm walking along in the rain, like I say, and uh, I don't have to worry about the adapter getting waterlogged or uh, on my microphone getting waterlogged. We're using the internal microphones of the GoPro Hero 8. And uh, as I've said before, I isolate the channel with the forward facing microphone in it and uh, double up on that channel. And that's how we get this audio. And it's acceptable, it's not marvelous. It does pick up a lot of surrounding sound. So I can't wait for the media module to arrive. That will not be waterproof, but uh, I'll be able to use this style of audio and uh, the media module as well. Hopefully the microphone will be fantastic, but I'm going to enjoy having the choices because I'll get the, uh, the microphone jack as well for external um, microphones. So I will have all the options. And I think uh, this camera stands a chance of being a real game changer in the vlogging environment. Yeah, I don't see the selfie screen being a big seller, really. I don't really understand the logic of that uh, when you've got a wide lens like this. You're definitely going to be in shot, but uh, some people like to look at themselves. So, uh, yeah, some people will, will appreciate that. Now, the little LED light is going to be way overpriced, but uh, I might get that because it looks really compact. Uh, does it work on a GoPro battery? Hope so. Yeah, the, uh, the little LED light might be worth getting just to keep everything really compact. And then that'll be about it, really. Uh, I'll have perfect setup, hopefully. So back to the color grading. This vlog, remember, has all been done in the flat profile, but uh, the difference between my previous attempt and this one is I'm experimenting using the native white balance. So the white balance has been the same all the way through. I don't know whether that's uh, a good idea or not. This is all new to me. So I would appreciate uh, any advice. So what's your experience using the flat profile on the GoPro Hero 8 in particular? I'm sure it will be very similar on the 7 as well. So what's your experience? Have you found it difficult? Have you found a, uh, a setting that kind of fits all? Is that, is that possible? And I've got a feeling that um, using the flat profile um, we won't get that effect where uh, your skin looks like a cartoon. That did happen a few times, kind of in low light. Uh, strange times when it happened, I couldn't really work it out. So if you've got a quick colour grade that uh, you think would work for me, leave that in the comments section below and I'll have a look at it. So I'm really interested to see what this is going to look like when I get it back to the computer. You are looking at it now, tell me what you think. Have I done a better job? than my last attempt, which was my first attempt. And I know that it was far from perfect. So uh, I'm hoping to do a better job this time. And remember, this one was recorded in the flat profile, the entire vlog in the flat profile. And uh, we were using the native white balance, not the auto white balance, which I used before. And I'm hoping that that's going to give me a more uniform white balance, of course, throughout all the takes throughout all the footage. I'm hoping that's going to work for me and uh, your advice would be much appreciated. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I upload a vlog every week so if you haven't already consider subscribing and until the next one bye.